everybody and welcome once again to all the fabric three today we are going to carry on with modern industrialization and we're going to do the very top machines so these are the large advanced motors very tough to do because it requires these processing units and the processing units are pretty hard actually to make but it's taken me a very long time to make all this stuff in fact it's about a week between episodes which is a long time and that's basically because i've been preparing all this stuff so let's make those two and then we can also make from those two we can make uh, two large advanced pumps in effect this requires as you can see processing units three per pump like that and then we can then make the turbo diesel generator uh, which in fact you can actually look it up but it's a fairly good it's the first one that can produce hv i think it produces 512 eu per tick we can check that in a minute in fact with the book and then the last one here is to put the, basically these bits together so we've got this highly advanced machine hole and let's look at the uses of that um there's basically two uses i think that we actually make would make use of so the one we're going to do is the large diesel generator so we can put those in with the pumps all it's done is just put the pumps in which we've just created and the and the and the advanced motors and the turbo diesel generator and that produces this one this is a multi-block the uses of the large diesel generator is a multi-block we need 10 titanium machine casings and 25 solid uh, titanium machine casings which basically means we need 30 of these plus pipes for the 10 so we you need six three pipes per each one so you need a 30 pipes which is another 30 ingots of um titanium it's a lot of titanium anyway well i've got that stuff prepared here like this so let's take that the other machine we can make is actually have a look at the use of these large pumps again is the high the high pressure advanced large steam boiler so last time we read the high pressure large steam boiler and this one we can actually make the advanced one so the only thing we need is the, is the high pressure large steam boiler from the other one so let's go and pinch it and it also needs some more um stainless steel machine casings and a uh, pipe casing just one more layer basically of that stuff so let's go and pinch this i know things are running at the moment but i don't think it's going to make any difference it'll just make this this particular construction here one block higher i guess so i'm gonna to have to break this the main block and i hope i don't have to move too much stuff around we'll soon find out so we can put this one into here and that will produce the advanced one like that and hopefully we can just put this straight back into this into that place and put the machine at one block one row so let's have a go so it doesn't tell you anything here that it's actually not working or working but we do know that because we've got to get the wrench out here like this aha uh -huh. so what's happened here i think this goes down one one row as well in fact this yeah this does actually make sense so let's break this block here and break this one above it and now we have to put the, the highly advanced machine <laughs> the high pressure advanced machine boiler here and then then we can look at it and we should find that those aren't complaining anymore which they're not let's stand back a bit so there's one block in the way and it's got another one well we know what's going to happen here don't we it's pretty obvious really so we've got these stainless machine casings let's put that into there come up here break this one and then put around here then eight of these well we can do whichever way around we want to of course but this happened to be in my hand at the time and then the last stainless steel pipe casing down here and then this should actually make it start to work again and as you can see it is in operation now of course this is higher at uh, same temperature and it's got and i presume that these flames means it's working so it's actually now generating high pressure steam and i guess it's producing more steam than the than the previous one so let's have a look in here. We should nothing should have changed as it happens. We've got a little bit of fuel in here left, and it's powering these two boilers. 
because the other one that was over here is so actually we'll go over here now and do that one as well because I would like to put the large diesel generator down here so as you can see this is basically the same as the high pressure one or high pressure advanced with an advanced one so it just moved up one block I should have realized that to be dead honest with you in fact it might be sensible I'm going to move this out of the way I'd like a little bit of extra space so this will break this input one and put it just put it here like that I've only got three blocks left as well so that's probably needs a bit more of that I'm going to make some more later on put the chest in front of it oh, before we do put the chest in front let's make sure this is auto input stuff so yeah only three blocks left in that one it's not going to run until I put this piece down here So that's running again so now let's put down the diesel the, the turbo this large diesel generator my guess i'm not 100 percent sure which way around these are going to but i'm going to put down one of these blocks to start with and i'll put it down in a row um, it'll probably be a three by three machine so let's just put this one down here like that and then the large diesel generator on top of this and then have a look with the wrench and see if we've got sensible stuff. No, these are casings down the bottom here. No big deal. I mean, pipe casings. So we can have a look at this. Now, it basically looks like it's got one face around here of, of pipe casings. And those go in the middle here and here. And the rest of these are just standard um, casings. So let's get these put down. This episode is not going to be too long, by the way. Sorry about last time. But there was a lot to do. Let's put this down like that. And then we just fill up this with the solid titanium machine casings. I do want to it's got some good names for this stuff, but I do find them a bit of a tongue twister sometimes. Aha, <laughs> missed. Got it. Let's break this one. Put that back. So this should now be formed. And I've made a mistake. <laughs> Brilliant. What I've done wrong is I've put it facing the wrong way. If you remember rightly, this is going to need an output hatch. It's going to have to be um, probably an EV ha ha output hatch. I've got some uh, highly advanced machine holes ready, but I haven't have I got the cables for those as well. Let's have a look. I've got some. No, I need annealed copper. Yes, I've got plenty of those, and electrum. Actually, I've got plenty of electrum too. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to put into this and uh, one of these is going to have to be a transformer, and the other one is going to have to be a um, output hatch an EV output hatch. Tell you what, it's night time, I'll be back in a second. So let's have a look at the uses of the highly advanced machine. In fact, I should have taken them both out of the out of the backpack because I'm going to make them both at the same time. Let's go back and have a look at the uses of no, in fact I'll use the I'll use the pocket crafting table and have a look at the uses of these. And what we want is we want one EV energy output hatch like that and we also want one transformer so let's have a look again at the uses of these so the transformer in this case will be this one so we need oh it's aluminium cables and annealed copper ah oh, strange i haven't got any the aluminium cables with me let's get those out of the backpack i've got seven and need four fantastic actually i'm going to need more all of those as it happens um, because we're going to have to then connect this into this pipe into here so let's have a look and see what we're going to do we've got the output hatch already made let's just make up the the transformer because we haven't got anything that will actually use ev power so let's again look at the uses of this highly advanced machine casing so we want this one we want no we want extra voltage to high voltage click that in and it actually gives you high voltage to extra voltage it always does that 
as a feature. Yeah, I think it's been fixed in the latest version of this. So anyway, let's have a look at where we can put the EV out in energy EV input hatch. Okay, let's change that to an output hatch. That's right. Yes. Uh, and you look at the front, it's nothing there. And it'll be the one slot at the back is where we can put it. Okay, fine. So what I'm going to do is swap these two around, obviously, because I want the power to come out the back here. Let's put that in there and then come across here. This will produce 8,000 EU per tick. Like that. We get our extra mach machine casing back here, but we do need some more inputs, obviously. We need some fuel. So next thing, we need some fuel for this. Um, and I think that's and the only other thing that we actually need, isn't it, fuel? So what we need then is some fluid input hatch. And it doesn't have to be very powerful or fast or take a lot of resources. It can be a really cheap one. So we can probably go a stone steel eye machine casing item input hatches all right i don't have any here but we'll make one i've got a steel machine casing here and some steel tanks so we can easily craft those together so we want it to be an input hatch don't we steel fluid input hatch fantastic so let's have a look at where this can go and i'm pretty sure this is a, can goes in some strange places yes it does so it can go in here or it can go in these sides and that's it well, this doesn't really matter where we put it at the moment, I don't think. So let's just put it in here like that. Right click that. And it hasn't actually formed. So what's wrong with this? Oh, yes, of course it hasn't formed. Because I hadn't removed these blocks. Ha! Ah, so I have to remove these. When I moved it, when I turned it around. Let's just put these back again. I'm going to put the last one of these in it. And press shift, of course. It should form again. Fantastic, it has done. So that's good as well. Great. So now we just need some fuel. Let's get. To, I'm going to get put a tank's worth of fuel. I've got some aluminium. An empty aluminium tank here. I've got boosted diesel already prepared. It's in this tank here. We're making we're making this continuously, almost continuously. Uh, I just need to sometimes just move these tanks across to the right bits and places. So now all we need to do is to come along here, and we can actually right-click this, but we'll have it as an auto insert, and then we can simply put this tank on the side of it, and it then inserts the the diesel into here and that's going to be producing some power so we should see in here 1.2 million eu fantastic okay now we can't use that eu directly so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put down here the transformer and i want the transformer to face going out this way so it doesn't really matter that much so i get this output port here so all we need then is an annealed couple cable in here like this uh, so it connects in, so we can just click it in here like this. Unfortunately, I've got to dig myself down one block here in order to be able to get to th to that end of it. And I think we can do it from this one place, one block back. So that'll connect into here, and then we can connect this into here like that. And then we can just drag these cables across. In fact, I would prefer to do it like this, wouldn't I? Let's do it. Okay, let's shift it around here. And I've only got three cables, and I don't think that's enough. Let's just see. No, it's, I need four. <laughs> Typical. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll go and get myself a fourth one. I'll be back in a second. Right, just got a few more bits of cable so you can see that that actually clicks in. So now when I right click this one, we should have this connected in. It should be, and then the diesel generator should produce power for these machines. Um, now let's have a look. I was doing some. Yes, I was doing some processing here of 
to make some to make some stuff. Uh, I haven't actually got very much aluminium at the moment, so I really do need to process any bulk that I've got. And I don't have any because I've taken it all out of here. Um, what I do now, when this is full, I've done my batch of processing. I just break. I just break this chest. Let's just do it like this. Okay, and everything goes into the uh, tank except for the tank, uh, except for the diamond chest. So we can put those back again. And then it's ready for the next one. And in the dank here, I will have a lot of more materials. Um, I didn't look at them before, so let's just change that to moat. And we should find we've got a reasonable amount of redstone now. I had one in before it. So what have we got now? 711 ore. So what I can go and do is now is create some steel pipes and get those running in. Let's just do that. So what we need is steel item pipes. Let's just make her a thousand and click start on that. So that'll take a few minutes to come through. But as soon as the first batches come through, we could well, probably maybe more than six because it's going to take a few seconds to actually start up. Let's take 12 and then to put those into, ah, oh, into here. One thing on to here like that. So that's now powered up, as you can see, and it's starting to run. And this one here is, let's see where the energy is coming out of. Yeah, this, the large, this diesel generator is producing the power. So I guess this is producing the power over, now this turbine's working as well. So they're both working. So in this machine, we should have a, a huge amount of power and it'll never run out of, until of course we run out of fuel, as you can see. So this is a base recipe of 4 EU per tick. It doesn't take that long before it actually gets up to its maximum speed. So it's a, it's a fairly good idea to come, let's go and come down here and get some more. It's got another 96 now. Oh, 32 already arrived. Yeah, that's right. 96 and 64, 32s. All right, let's put those into here. Oops, missed. Let's put those into here. And those have basically been taken because this is a a steel input hatch with two inputs. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it. This is probably the end of modern industrialization in this series. There are probably a few little bits and more to do, which will cover those. But next time we're going to carry on with a different mod. We're going to carry on with modular armor from Industrial Revolution. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.